All strike three on the inside corner. A much needed strikeout for Faith Sims. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout of the inning for Faith Sims, but a monster inning it was for Eastern Illinois. Fantastic two-way player for the game. Cox shows bunt, lays it off, rolls one in a right field for a base hit. Sap touches third. She gets waved home. She will score on an RBI single from Alexis Jimerson. Back years, 1998-1999. Called strike three on the inside corner. Tori Johnson goes down looking. Third strike out for Faith Sims this morning. 600 and had a school record. 12 home runs and cranks this one to the gap and right center field. This will be an extra base hit for Chambers. Chops in with a leadoff double to begin the bottom of the second for Jacksonville State. Again, the bottom of the second. The 1-1. One, one. Bun in front of home play, picked up by her wireman. The only play is the first to get the sure out and two. Chamber moves to third on the sacrifice bunt on the season, but they have been able to get some extra base hits as this ball is clobbered high and deep. A solo bomb for Taylor Bashir. So right when I mentioned the home runs, Bashir leaves the yard. Her first home run of the tournament. And her eighth home run to lead Jacksonville State this season. It's at 7 a.m. At the banquet last night. That swung on and missed. Fourth strikeout of the game yeah, for Faith Sims. They went through a stretch where they lost one conference game in two years. Here's a little flare, first base side over the head of Mitchell, and everybody will be safe for Jacksonville State. Sims to third, Chambers reaches on the single. Woodruff, a hot shot up the middle into center field, stopping at third base is Chambers, and the bases are loaded for Jacksonville State. 2-2 hit in the ear on the run. Beer makes the catch, trying to tag from third is Chambers. Here's the throw. It's not in time. It's a sack fly by Chisholm. And Jacksonville State keeps chipping away at this Eastern Illinois lead. Panthers in front, 5-4. to four. Two two is hit high and deep towards right field, and it's off of the video board. A two run moonshot off the bat of Haley Sims slices into the Eastern Illinois lead. Fourth home run of the season for Sims. RBIs 20 and 21. Two, two. Swing and a miss. First strikeout this afternoon for Nicole Rodriguez. Hit in the ear. Center field, Emily Woodruff on long run makes the catch for the third and final outs. Play for the Panthers. Woodruff shoots one to right field to kick off the bottom of the six. Second single of the game for Emily Woodruff. That's why Coach Michelle Rogers coming in for Jessica Wireman. Hits it high and deep in the air towards center field. Bear at the wall. It's off the top of the wall. Touching third. Here's Woodruff. She gets waved home. She will score. It's an RBI double off the bat of Anna Chisholm. Kayla Bear, the center fielder, running full speed, jumps up in the air. Fail pitch, line drive, base hit to right field. One run will score. Chisholm gets waved home. She scores to tie the game at nine. Taylor Bashirs with a huge single to tie the game at nine in the bottom of the six. So Jessica Wireman. First pitch is hit towards left field, a leadoff base hit for Emily Woodruff, her third single of the game. Payoff pitch to Sapp, 
Tie for ball four. Two runners on base for Jacksonville State. So not only do they have the tying run, they have the game winning run on first now in Caitlin Sapp. 1-1 one, one, hit in the air towards center field. Beer at the warning track and it is off the top of the wall. A run will score to tie it, getting waved home to score. The umpires are signaling if it's a home run. And the third base umpire, Alan Hardy, is signaling home run, but one way or the other, Jacksonville State appears to come from behind to win over Eastern Illinois to claim the first game of the 2018 tournament.